Farm Party. Welcome, students, families, and supporters to the 2023 New Student and Family Convocation for Sacramento State. <laughs> Convocation is hereby assembled. My name is Anisha Mitchell, and I'm the Interim Vice President for Student Affairs at Sacramento State, and it is an honor to serve as the Master of Ceremonies for today's convocation. At this time, I ask that you please rise, if you're able to do so, for the singing of our national anthem by Jonathan Satman, who is a Sacramento State alum. Stripes and bright. 
thank you for that beautiful rendition of our national anthem. You may now be seated. It is now my privilege to introduce Veronica Bulis, Executive Vice President of Associated Students Incorporated at Sacramento State, to read our land acknowledgement. Veronica? Thank you. It is now my pleasure to read the Sacramento State's land acknowledgement. Sacramento State acknowledges with respect the land our campus is on today was and continues to be the homelands of the indigenous people of this area. The Nisanon, specifically the Nisam pa Pawanon and Miwok, the larger Sacramento area and its rivers serve as a gathering place for many local rivers from the surrounding valley and the foothills, including the southern Maidu, Patwin, and Win Winton. The students, faculty, staff, and alumni of Sacramento State recognize these lands and riverways as unceded traditional territories of these native peoples. By offering this land acknowledgement, we affirm the university's commitment to build relationships and foster a university environment of success to better serve native nations and communities. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm so happy to be here today welcoming new students and their supporters to our Sacramento State Hornet family. As someone who's attended Sac State for three years now, going into my last, I can confidently say that your time here will be filled with so much growth, so many milestones and unforgettable life-changing experiences. For many of you, Sac State will become your second home and for others, it may even be your first. Either way, Sac State, the Sac State community will be a safe space for every single one of you. I want you to remember that ASI will always serve as a resource and support system. We were elected to represent you and amplify your voices as our constituents. So please don't hesitate to ask for help or reach out to us if you need anything. Remember that everyone's journey here at Sac State looks different and will be right by your side as you define yours. I look forward to seeing you all on campus and the ASI office, of course, this upcoming semester. Thank you. Thank you, Veronica. I am truly pleased to welcome you, our newest students, to Sacramento State. I want to also take this time to salute our parents, families, and supporters here with us today who helped our students find their way home to Sacramento State and who joined us on this date to commemorate this new beginning in your lives. Parents, families, and supporters, thank you for your contribution to the success of our students yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Convocation derives from the Latin word convoco, which translates to a calling together. So on this day, at this time, it's only appropriate that we call together the faculty, staff, and students at Sacramento State to formally welcome and embrace you as our newest members of our campus community and the Hornet family. New students, as commencement symbolizes the completion of your academic degree requirements, convocation is an academic rite of passage that symbolizes the beginning of your academic career at Sacramento State. Today we will share with you our expectations, traditions, and best wishes as you pursue your academic personal and professional dreams. Everyone here today is committed to your success and we are delighted to formally induct you into the Hornet family. Join me today as part of the platform party are members of university leadership, academic and administrative officers, representatives from your student elected ASI board and parent and family program ambassadors. As I introduce each member of the party, I ask of them that they remain standing until I've had an opportunity to introduce everyone and I ask of you that you please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. President of Sacramento State, Luke Wood. I, I know I wanted to clap too. <laughs> Natalie Andrada Dominguez, President of Associated Students Incorporated. Veronica Bolas, Executive Vice President of Associated Students Incorporated. Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs, Carlos Naveras. 
Interim Vice President for Enrollment and Engagement, Jenny Murphy. Josefina Tafoya, Parent and Family Program Ambassador. Ivan Tafoya, Parents and Families Program Ambassador. Interim Vice President for University Advancement, Sharon Takata. Vice President for Administration and Business Affairs and Chief Financial Officer, Jonathan Bauman. Vice President for Inclusive Excellence, Mia Settles-Tidwell. Faculty Senate Chair and Chief Marshal for today's convocation, Adam Rex. Chief Information Officer and Vice President for Information Resources and Technology, Mark Hendricks. Interim Chief of Staff, Mark R. Wheeler. Deputy Chief of Staff, Kristen Tudor. Dean of the College of Arts and Letters, Cherie Myers. Dean of the College of Business, Jean-Francois Coget. Dean of the College of Education, Alexander Sasha Sadorkin. Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, Kayvon Shafazada. Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, Mary McGuire. Dean of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Lisa Hammersley. Dean of the College of Social Sciences and Interdisciplinary Studies, Diane Heisen. Dean of Undergraduate Studies, James German. Dean of Graduate Studies, Chevelle Newsom. Dean of the University Library, Amy Kotzman. Interim Dean of the College of Continuing Education, Pam Wimbush. And Jonathan Satman, Class of 2023 graduate and our Convocation sol Soloist. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, members of the platform party. You may now be seated. It is now one of my highest privileges to welcome the president of Sacramento State, Dr. Luke Wood. <laughs> Greetings, Hornet family. Greetings, Hornet family. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the hive. We are pleased to see so many of you here to attend our 2023 Student and Family Convocation. Your attendance today means that you are part of history as this is the very first convocation in Sacramento State's history. So there are two very important milestones in your experience as a student here at Sacramento State, convocation and graduation. Convocation serves as the official beginning of your academic journey. It is a formal ceremony that marks the act or instance of starting your first semester as a student at this institution. And then graduation, which we call commencement, refers to the official conferral of one's degree or diploma. That's when you have the opportunity to walk across the stage in front of your family and supporters and loved ones and to celebrate a job well done. And there's nothing that I look forward to more then when I'll have the privilege of hearing your name read, see you walk across the stage and honor your achievements. Let's take a moment now to celebrate your presence here today. You did it. You made it. You are now a collegian, a college student at Sacramento State. Whether you came here as a transfer student from a community college, transferred from another university, or just graduated from high school, or took many of the other pathways to get here, we are proud of you and we welcome you to the high, to the Hornet family. While you've spent years preparing for this moment, please know that we have worked arduously to prepare the university to welcome you and to support you. Our work in preparation of your arrival has been done with intentionality and care to assure the utmost meaningful experience for you. I myself was a beneficiary of this intentionality and care. A little over 20 years ago, I began my journey as a student here at Sacramento State. I lived on campus in Jenkins Residence Hall. Anyone here from Jenkins? Okay, few folks, I see you. <laughs> I went on to earn my bachelor's degree with a special major in black history and politics in the College of Social Sciences and Interdisciplinary Studies. Yeah. I met my wife and life partner and research collaborator Idara here at the Nest in the Student Union 
and went on to earn my master's degree in higher education leadership and student affairs here in our College of Education. And when I experienced challenges, I received support. When I went through trials and tribulations, I was extended care. And when I thought I could give no more, I received validation and encouragement to go even further and to do even more. So I owe much to the foundation of my life and my life's work here to Sacramento State. This place and the people who are here within it are essential to me. And I have great excitement for you that you too will now be able to benefit from this wonderful community of invested educators and energized alumni. You are fortunate, you are blessed. Think of the nest as the physical structure of our park-like campus and our off-site locations such as the downtown center and our forthcoming center at Placer. And think of our hive as the community of people who reside within the Sacramento State family. And that's why you may hear me refer to the university as our Sacramento State. Our Sacramento State means that the university belongs to this community. It belongs to our 278,000 alumni who entrusted their academic journey to our Sacramento State. It belongs to our 1,600 faculty members who've dedicated their lives and their careers to educating and uplifting our students. It belongs to our 1,500 staff members who work arduously to ensure a safe and supportive learning environment. And most importantly, it belongs to our 30,000 students who are on a pathway to create a better life for themselves and for their families. And that includes you here today. This university belongs to you. You are not a guest at this moment and this day. This is your hive. This is your home. And to the parents, families, and supporters here today, you are also part of this hive, as your support for your students' learning, motivation, and engagement is essential to their success on this campus. So I want to uh, do a little bit of call and response as part of my own personal background and tradition. I'm going to say something, and you're going to say something, okay? So I'm going to say our hive, and I want you to say our home, okay, to uh, inculcate this in our minds. So our hive. Our hive. Our hive. Our hive. Our Sacramento State. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> to our new students, I want to take a moment to reflect and have you reflect on your journey in this moment and to consider the people who helped you reach this point. It may have been your parents, grandparents, family members, supporters, or others who helped you reach, reach this moment. I also want you to reflect on the sacrifices that you had to make to reach this moment. To get the dedication you had to give to your studies, the discipline you had to have in managing your time, and the determination you had to have to overcome barriers and odds, and challenges that sometimes some people will never fully understand. To your parents, families, and supporters, we want you to know that we have a shared or vested interest in your student success. Meaning that if they do not do, if they do do well, if they hit the mark, they get the grade, the job, the internship, whatever it might be that they're looking for, that we are going to personally feel like we did well because we are in it with them. But on the flip side, if they stumble, if they fall, if they miss the mark, whatever it might be, we are going to personally feel like we did not do well because we have a shared or vested interest in their success. And we will not rest, we will not stand still until we have supported them in achieving their goals and walking across that stage. <laughs> to all of you, our new students, parents, families, and supporters, please know that your safety is our highest priority. We think about safety holistically, including physical safety to protect your physical beings, emotional safety to foster an environment that is supportive and empathetic, and cognitive safety to engender respect for new ideas, critical dialogue, and creative thinking. Again, this is our highest priority, so please know that we won't sleep, sleep well at night so that you can sleep better. And now I'd like to close my remarks by offering you two pieces of advice to help you in your journey here at our Sacramento State. To the students, first, get involved on campus. Remember that half of the learning that you have here at our Sacramento State 
takes place inside the classroom and the other half takes place outside of the classroom. Through your involvement in clubs, organizations, in Greek life, internships, and community engagement. I can personally attest as a two-time alumnus from this institution, back then the university slogan was leadership begins here. And a generation of current leaders across our region, state, and nation were forged here at our Sacramento State in that era. As a student, I was very involved in cultural clubs and justice-oriented clubs and organizations. I joined existing clubs. I even started new ones. I became a member of a fraternity and established lifelong bonds. And they have been incredibly beneficial, personally and professionally. I participated in student government called Associated Students Incorporated. And was first a board member and then held multiple executive roles as vice president for academic affairs, vice president for finance, and executive vice president. All of these experiences shape who I am today. In fact, it was from all these experiences 20 years ago that I proudly proclaimed to every friend that I knew that I was going to be someday the president of California State University, Sacramento, Sacramento State. And now, 20 years later, I'm doing it. So the foundation for how I think about leadership and student success in a healthy campus began while I was a student right here at our Sacramento State. Which brings me to the second point. Consider how you want to change the world. What is your purpose in life? Why are you here right now in this moment? My goal was to be president of Sacramento State. Not about a title. It was a calling and a life purpose to ensure that every student who enters into this institution, regardless of their race, color, creed, gender, gender identity, income status, or religion, could expect to be treated with dignity and have every support needed to ensure that they, didn't that they did not just attend the university, that they would graduate from the university. So remember, it's not about your degree. It's not about your goals to become a scientist, a business leader, healthcare professional, policymaker, educator, artist, or community leader. It's not about those titles. It's about what you will do once you are empowered with that title or role to change the world. So as you think about the change you want to see, remember this. I believe that both the good experiences that you have in your life, and even more so, the challenging ones, perfectly prepare you for the next steps in your journey and bring clarity to your own purpose. If you already know what your life calling is, that's wonderful. But many of you will truly discover, discover it while here at our Sacramento State. You will develop passions that will shape the rest of your life. So embrace every good experience and every challenging experience as an instructive lesson on how you can and should change the world. So as our president of Sacramento State, I urge you to get involved and to consider your purpose and how you will change and improve our world. Our high. Our Thank you for coming and welcome again to the Hornet family. So it's now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Carlos Navarez, Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs and one of my lifelong mentors. Please, uh, let, let's give it up for uh, President Wood here once again. Thank you, President Wood. On behalf of the faculty and academic staff of Sacramento State, I want to welcome all of our new students, their families, and other supporters to Sacramento State. Let, let's give it up to them, please. Come on. It gives me a great pleasure to receive you into our community of teaching and learning through this convocation. So what is ceremonies and what are we here for? Ceremonies and rituals such as this convocation are a meaningful way to mark important passages in our lives. Students today, you are making one of those important passages. Today, you become a Sac State student, a Sac State Hornet. Our campus family will always be part of your life from here on out. Now you will be asked to challenge yourself intellectually in new and transformative ways. To succeed, you will need to relearn how to learn, 
to go deeper into your studies and analyze ideas more thoroughly than ever before. You will have excellent guys, no doubt. We have a talented and caring faculty waiting to share their knowledge and experience with you. When you enter Sacramento State, a Sacramento State classroom, you will be taught by experts in their fields. Let them lead you. I'm now delighted to present all first year transfer and new graduate students to their respective college deans who are here representing numerous faculty and who will work with you as you pursue your studies at Sacramento State. College of Arts and Letters. Will Dr. Sherry Myers, Dean of College of Arts and Letters, please join me at the podium. Will the undergraduate and graduates from the College of Arts and Letters please stand if you're able and remain standing. Please stand. All right, okay, good. Dean Meyer, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Arts and Letters. As the newest members of the College of Arts and Letters, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation, and intellectual curiosity. Everyone, please join me in recognizing these new students. You may be seated. College of Business, well, Dr. John Franzo Coge, Dean of the College of Business, please join me at the podium. Well, the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Business, please stand if you're able and remain standing. <laughs> Dean Koje, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Business. As the newest members of the College of Business, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation, and intellectual curiosity. Everyone, please join me in recognizing these new students. You may be seated. College of Education. Well, Dr. Alexander Sasha Sadorkin, Dean of the College of Education, please join me at the podium. <laughs> Will the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Education please stand if able and remain standing? Dean Sadorkin, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Education. As the newest members of the College of Education, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation, and intellectual curiosity. Everyone, please join me in recognizing these new students. You may be seated. We're going to keep this going here. College of uh, Engineering and Computer Science with Dr. Kayvon Shefesada. Yes, Kayvon Shefesada, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Please join me at the podium. I think this got the, they got this down now by now. Uh, uh, with the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Engineering and Computer Science, please stand if you're able and remain standing. All right. I like the energy, good representation here. Dean Shefesada, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Engineering and Computer Science. As the newest members of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation, intellectual curiosity. Please join me in recognizing these students. Yes. You may be seated. College of Health and Human Services. Will Dr. Mary McGuire, Dean of the College of Health and Human Services, please join me at the podium. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
these deans are really throwing off my game here. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Health and Human Services, please stand if you're able and remain standing. Dean McGuire, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Health and Human Services as the newest members of the College of Health and Human Services. They, these students bring to you their, guess what it is, creativity, <laughs> motivation, intellectual curiosity. Uh, everyone, please join me in recognizing these new students. You may be seated. College of Natural Science and Mathematics with Dr. Lisa Hammersley, Dean of the College of Natural Science and Mathematics. Please join me at the podium. Thank you. Well, the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Natural Science and Mathematics, please stand if you're able and remain standing. Dean Hammersley, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. As the newest members of the College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, these students bring to you their, everyone, creativity, motivation, intellectual curiosity. Good job. <laughs> everyone, please join me in recognizing these two students once again. Please recognize them. Yes, thank you, thank you. You may be seated. College of Social Science and Interdiscipli Interdisciplinary Studies with Dr. Diane Heisen, Dean of the College of Social Science and Interdisciplinary Studies. Please join me at the, at the podium. Thank you. Well, the undergraduate and graduate students from the College of Social Science and Interdisciplinary Studies, please stand if able and remain standing. Dean Heisen, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of students from the College of Social Science and Interdisciplinary Studies. As the newest members of the College of Social Science and Interdisciplinary Studies, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation. Okay, good job, good job. <laughs> oh, that's great. We got a sharp group here. You may be, did we recognize them? Let's recognize them. Let's give them a hand of applause. You may be. <laughs> All right, here we, go. here we go. Good job. You may be, be seated now. Thank you. Undeclared students, well, Dr. James German, Dean of Undergraduate Studies, please join me at the podium. Well, the undergraduate students who are undeclared, please stand if able and remain standing. Good. I got my knees from LA, undeclared. We had to talk to your parents about that. Okay, all good though, we all figure it out. We got a great dean here. Dean German, it is my pleasure to present to you the incoming class of undeclared students. As the newest member of the members of the university, these students bring to you their creativity, motivation, and intellectual curiosity. Good job, y'all get a B. Uh, Everyone, please join me in recognizing these new students. You may be seated now. Deans, you may also be seated. All right, get up for the deans. Distinguished platform party faculty and members of the academic community. As Provost of Sacramento State, I hereby declare the students just presented are now members of the Sacramento State Academic Community. Yes. <laughs> With all the rights, responsibilities, and privileges thereunto pertaining. Families and other students, supporters, thank you for guiding your students to this day. Your support has helped them to get here. 
please continue to support them in their studies and encourage them to reach out if they are struggling. We have many, many ways to help, many, many ways, many resources. Students today, students, today marks the beginning of a journey. Each one of us on this day has made that journey and it started for us on a day just like this. You, you all look different, you all took different paths to get here. Some of you overcame tremendous obstacles, but today is day one. Your time at Sacramento State is still a blank state, a slate. It is up to you to fill it with your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. This campus is rich with academic possibilities. You can participate in groundbreaking research or express yourself through arts or help find community solutions to problems like homelessness or educational equity. Take advantage of as many opportunities as you can while you are here. The time will go fast, but you will create memories that will last a lifetime. Congratulations, and once again, welcome to Sacramento State. It, it now gives me great pleasure to present to you your student president, president Natalie Andrade Dominguez. Good afternoon, Hornet family. Buenas tardes. My name is Natalie Andrade Dominguez, and I proudly serve as Associated Students Inc. President the official governing body of all Sacramento State students. ASI is a nonprofit organization that provides, students that provides students with resources through programs and departments like the ASI Food Pantry, the Children's Center, our Aquatic Center, Peak Adventures, and Student Government. We provide employment and volunteer opportunities through our wonderful programs and events. We also have multi multiple scholarship opportunities. But most importantly, you all have the opportunity to sit on the ASI Board of Directors. Each spring semester, all eligible Sac State students can participate in the elections for the various positions to serve as the official governing body of all 31,000 students. This is a chance to not only advocate on critical issues, but to make a lifelong impact at Sacramento State. Now, there are many ways to getting involved. And it is a great way to establish relationships, make a difference on campus, build your resume and your leadership skills, or launch your career. ASI is, and forever will be, for students, by students. I would now like to take the time to introduce to you the full 2023-24 ASI Board of Directors. When I call their name, I ask that they stand and remain standing. Please hold your applause until I have the opportunity to introduce all members of the ASI Board of Directors. Executive Vice President Veronica Bolas, major in political science. ASI Vice President of Finance, Sachi Barria, majoring in Business Administration with a double concentration in Management Informational Systems and Business Al Analytics. ASI Vice President of University Affairs, Alec Tong, majoring in International Relations. ASI Vice President of Academic Affairs, Bertha Vega, ma majoring in Human Resources, Organizational Behavior and Communications. ASI Director of Arts and Letters, Christian Hernandez Hunter, majoring in Political Science. ASI Director of Business, Belen Torres, majoring in Business Administration. ASI Director of Education, Sarai Aguirre, a graduate student in Higher Education Leadership and, P and Policy Studies. ASI Director of Engineering and Computer Science, Hashim Jabbar, majoring in Computer Science. ASI Director of Health and Human Services, Rosa Vasquez, majoring in social work. ASI Director of Natural Sciences and Mathematics, Zanab Ghani, majoring in biology with a concentration in biomed. ASI Director of Social Sciences and Interdisciplinary Studies, Isabella Jimenez, majoring in political science. ASI Director of Undeclared Studies, Cinco Ambalia, majoring in business administration and ASI Director of Graduate Studies, Hisham Hussein, a graduate student in computer science. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, 
You all may be seated. Thank you. I would now like to ask all new students, including freshmen, transfer, and graduate students to stand if you are able and remain standing as we recite our commitment to the Hornet Honor Code, the pledge on the bookmark you received when you arrived and visible on the screens. This is a pledge you will make to yourself, your peers, your professors, and to your supporters. And repeat after me. As a Sacramento State Hornet, I commit myself to personal and academic excellence and to actively promote, let's start again. Let's, let's do it with me. Let's start again. Let's do this the right way, with energy. As a Sacramento State Hornet, I commit myself to personal and academic excellence and to actively promote honesty, integrity, respect, and care for every person, ensuring a welcoming campus environment and striving to help every member of the Hornet family feel a strong sense of belonging. I will empower myself to learn about the issues and the challenges facing our world and I will value the diverse perspectives I will be exposed to. I will engage daily with mutual trust, authentic care, and integrity, and I will listen with an open heart to the thoughts, interests, and values of others. I embrace the Hornet Honor Code and the university's mission of promoting transformative through education, innovation, service, and engagement. Now students, please remove the Hornet for Life pin from your bookmark and you or one of your supporters may now pin it to your left side. This pinning represents your formal induction into the Hornet family. You are now Hornets for Life. Congratulations, and it is my great pleasure to welcome you to the family. You may now be seated. Sacramento State, is a place where dreams actually come true. As I stand here today, I have so many emotions as I think about the day I decided Sac State would be my home for the next four years. As a kid, I dreamed of having the opportunity to attend college, but growing up in a rough neighborhood in an immigrant household, I didn't know if college was even an option for me. And as a first in my family to attend college, I knew everything that I wanted to accomplish was going to be a struggle. So I wanted to ensure that the university I chose was going to serve my needs and give me the opportunity to grow. So yes, I came to this university with a dream, a dream to be a leader and a voice for students, a dream to ensure that we all feel heard, safe, and celebrated, a dream to be standing here today as student body president. And four years later, as I see my dreams come to fruition, I can say Sac State was the best choice I ever made. Now today marks the beginning of a transformative journey, a journey that will not only challenge you and inspire you, but shape you into the leaders and thinkers of tomorrow. Our university, is more than just a place of learning. It is a space where you will form lifelong connections, embrace new experiences, and cultivate the skills necessary to navigate the complexities of our ever-changing world. The opportunities that lie here are boundless. A university experience is about finding your true self and discovering new passion. Now I know that may be overwhelming and it is okay to be scared but never let your fear diminish your belief that you belong here, that this isn't your path. Instead, conquer those fears and prove to yourself that you can do anything that you put your mind to. 
So I encourage you all to join clubs, participate in events, and challenge yourself to get out of your comfort zone because it takes one event or one person that can change your life for the better. Your time here will be enriched by the friendships you form, the conversations you share, the mentors you connect with, and the moments you create together. While embarking on this journey, always remember the power of perseverance and resilience. Challenges will arise, but each obstacle is an opportunity for growth. Failure, it's inevitable. Give yourself permission to fail because it's what you make out of it that truly counts. And remember that your Sac State family is here to support you. So embrace this new chapter with enthusiasm, determination, and a hunger for knowledge. Because remember that no dream is too small or too big at Sac State. Once again, welcome Hornet family and singers up. I would now like to welcome Interim Vice President for Enrollment and Management, Dr. Jenny Murphy, to the podium. Thank you, Natalie. Konnichiwa, hehe, jumbo, hola, ni hao, bonjour, sawati, dobre den, maharaben, he, i, guten tag. Shalom, Privet, Yang Dong, Shalom, Namaste, Satsuriaku, Ciao, Kiara, Anyaseo, Malo Alele, Hi. Sacramento is one of the most diverse cities in the United States, and these greetings represent a sampling of the many origins and backgrounds and languages of our students and our communities. We welcome you, all of you. We see you, all of you. We see you as the Hornet family, and we see you as the full, robust, and well-rounded individuals that you are. It is my honor and privilege to be part of this Hornet family. I grew up in a farm town in Ohio. I was the first in my family to complete college. And now I have three degrees, my doctorate degree from here at Sacramento State in the College of Education. I am a proud Sac State alum. My husband is an alum, his sons are alumni, my daughter-in-law is an alumni, is an alum, and we have a two-year-old grandbaby that is going to be a future hornet. Sacramento State is rooted in the community and in the families. So now wave your hands. Where are the parents and the step parents? Where are the guardians and the grandparents? The aunties, the abuelas, the ajumas, the onis. Where are the uncles and the opas, the cousins and the siblings? Where are you? Where are the babies and our future hornets? Hey, where are the girlfriends, the boyfriends, the friend friends? You in the house? Okay, right on, I see you. You are the support system, the Hornet family, your family by choice. I am excited for you to learn more about the Parents and Families program here at Sac State, and I hope you will engage in every way that makes sense for you. The Sac State Parents and Families program began 11 years ago and has grown stronger every year under the leadership of Dr. Haley Myers Dillon and Dr. Marceline Watson Derbigny. The Sacramento State's Fair Family, Parents and Families Program is a leader across the entire California State University 23 campus system and provides communications, events, customer service, and community for the parents and families and loved ones of our students. And while we are here to focus on our new students today, hey support system, hey aunties, uncles, moms and dads, we have programs for you as well. We are student ready, we are non-traditional non student ready, and we are adult ready as well. A few, oh, okay, that's cool. A few of the many ways to engage include the town hall Zooms, the Hornet family reception that saw many of you at yesterday, 
the upcoming family weekend, the e-newsletter, and the direct customer service for your situation. You can meet our family ambassadors at events such as this one during the family weekend, or find them on the Parents and Families website and on Facebook. A lot of us parents are still in the demographic to be on Facebook. Ambassadors receive special training and volunteer throughout the year to help with important transformations. And we will all transform with these experiences with our students, whether it is moving out, moving in, moving on, working and commuting, being a parent, juggling work, school and parenting, our family ambassadors are here to help. And now it is my honor to welcome board members of our Parents and Families program, the amazing Josefina and Yvonne Tafoya. Good afternoon. Ivan and myself are your parent ambassadors um, for the 23-24 school year. And what an absolute honor and privilege to be here to share this amazing day with you guys. I might get emotional. <laughs> it's hard to believe that just a short year ago, Ivan and I were in the same seat you are, bringing our daughter to college for the first time. <laughs> and being overwhelmed with so many emotions. We had prepared so hard for bringing Abigail to college, but what we did not prepare for is some unanswered questions. Uh, phone calls, text messages, mom, I need money. Mom, I didn't study for our test. I got a bad grade. Um, what we did not prepare for is the deafening silence of our home, honestly. Even more personally for me, it was very difficult uh, to miss my mini-me. But as we progressed, uh, we are now bringing our daughter, Abigail, for her second year here at Sacramento State. She is a health science major. Yay. <laughs> and she will be continuing to uh, live and work here on campus. She is involved, as many people have mentioned, to get involved. Uh, here on campus, she is a member of Greek life, so she is a member of the Chi Delta sorority. Her father and I are so very proud of her, and I'm super excited that Dr. Wood has included all of us in our students' journey. Okay, and now, parents, families, and supporters in the audience, will you please rise if you are able. Students, we ask that you now fasten the parent and family pin on the left shoulder of your family representative. This is a symbol of our connection to Sacramento State. It is our hope that this pin provides you with the reminder of the vital role you play in the lives of your students here on the Sacramento State campus. Parents and family, welcome. You are now officially part of the Hornet family. Give yourselves a round of applause. Just as your students are Hornets for life, you are now Hornet parents and family for life. You may be seated. My husband will take over, who's less emotional. Thank you so much, honey, for that. Again, my name is Ivan Tafoya. I just want to share just a brief, a brief story for you in regards to how far and near the Hornet family is. A few weeks ago, Josefina and I attended a concert in Orange County at the Orange County Fair in Costa Mesa, California. If anyone's familiar to Southern California. All right, all right. Always as a proud parent, I was wearing my Sac State gear. Now I'm gonna do that all the time. From afar, we heard, stingers up. I didn't know where it was coming from. A young couple approached us and asked if we were alumni, given our age. <laughs> we said, no, we're not, we're not, but our daughter is. Our daughters are proud 
student at Sac State, both of them replied, you are still part of the family. That's what really made my day. The feeling of pride overwhelmed us, and we definitely felt the hornet love 600 miles away. As a father, now I want to speak to the dads here if at all possible. As a father, my deepest desire is for my daughter to feel welcomed, cared for here at Sac State. And let me tell you, Sac State has not let us down. It has been a privilege to have our daughter attend this wonderful institution. Parents, family, and supporters. Sac State offers so many ways to get involved for yourselves and stay engaged. You can join the parent and family program and also, also plan to attend these upcoming events. Don't miss out, homecoming, homecoming. Come on, let's type it up for homecoming, it's coming soon. Saturday, October 28th. The tailgating is from 3 to 3, um, excuse me, from 3 to 5.45. And don't want to miss out on the big game. You want to make sure that you're at 10 from 5.45 to 9 as the Big Sky Champion Hornets play Idaho State at Hornet Stadium. Lastly, don't forget to wear your gear. Don't forget to wear your pins. Now we would like to welcome back to the podium, Dr. Anisha Mitchell. Doctor, thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all of our speakers for your wonderful remarks today. Our hope is that this ceremony has served as inspiration to both our new students and their families and other supporters as you embark on this new journey at Sacramento State. We also hope that you will wear your new pins with pride and remember, you are all Hornets for life. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow evening at the Hornet Nest Fest taking place in the housing quad at 6 p.m. and encourage you to stay involved at Sacramento State during your time here. As we bring the inaugural new student and family convocation to a close, I ask that you remain in your seats until the platform party has recessed and you are formally released. But before we bid farewell for now, I'd like to invite you all to stand, if able, and join the platform party as we sing the Sacramento State alma mater. Thank you, Jonathan. Again, we ask that all audience members remain in their seats until the platform party has recessed. President Wood, at this time, please lead the platform party in the formal recessional.
you have an exceptional academic year. New students and families and supporters, please recess from the university ballroom and stingers up. <laughs>